Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SOE Live 2013. I am Trex, and of course, I'm actually here with the Rebels. Now, you guys are actually on the US PC, PS3. PS3. Yes. It's about time we see a PS3 league. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, uh, I'm here with Max Volt. How's it going? Here with Necron99. Definitely know him all over the forums. Thank you for your voice. I try. You make, you make <laughs> them sane. <laughs> Insane, mostly. Yeah, yeah, we're here with Stitch. And we got Merv trying to hide out. Get over here, Merv. <laughs> <laughs> so we just we actually just finished with the DCUO keynote, and the room was packed, more packed than what it was last year. And I'm really happy to see, especially the PS3 crowd come out, because I don't think you guys really had a presence from that system last year. And so I just want to get everyone's really instinct on what they actually felt from that panel. Well, it was actually nice to see they have a sort of a plan to get all the DLC out and the order they're going to do. I like the fact they're going to revive and, and bring back the storyline. So we actually, because you when know, you know, we level to 30, it was great to get all these different stories, get involved with it. After you get to 13, you kind of lose this. It just raids, alert, there's no connection to it, there's no, no sense of advancement somewhere. So it's nice to see that it's going to be brought back with the new DLCs. Are you more excited for DLC 8? Sons of Trigon, or what they announced for DLC 9? DLC 9, I will say. Yeah, yeah <laughs> DLC 9. Yeah, same here. I'm Lantern Core all the way. How about you, Necron? Uh, I'm, I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped for the whole thing. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I think everyone knows that a lot of us are really hardcore players. We really like playing a lot. So they could have announced the next DLC is, you know, crap. And, <laughs> and we'd still be excited about it. We just like new content. So we're going to bring up DLC 4. Is that what we're going to go with right now? <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome. Uh -huh. How about you, Stitch? Um, I was really happy for Blue Lanterns because Mr. Migraine, my in-game boyfriend, um, posted a speculation thread saying, you know, with the blue and red energy packs they brought out, mm -hmm. that maybe Blue Lantern healing and Red Lantern tanking. Don't 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 and don't don't make me promises. Don't 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 get that in my head, please. So you know, Blue Lantern just got me going in Celestial's next power, but Blue Lantern's coming to the game. I am I'm pumped for. You know, now I have Red Lantern tanking the whole time now. I, I will drop fire in a heartbeat and yeah. and ice. I'll make every character a red I tank. Know Scream would go Red Lantern immediately. So yeah, Scream devs, if you're scary. listening, yeah. Red Lantern tanking. <laughs> yes, please. What about you, Merv? Uh, I was most excited when he talked about the, or actually he hinted at the uh, white and the black lanterns. Can't say any confirmation on that, but it was hinted in there. So That is correct, that is correct. So of course they did announce that. Uh, how do you guys actually think about their direction with the DLCs now, having like this three-part story with it, Necron? Uh, it feels, uh, or at least it sounds and felt like they were going back to kind of the core of how the game developed originally you know with the the bat cave raid series the the uh, fortress solitude raid series everything was kind of three-parted um so i like it i like that they're going into a three-part uh kind of saga uh, uh methodology it's cool that they're gonna open up the a copy of uh, metropolis a copy of gotham then fill them all up uh that's gonna be really cool to watch that progress over the course of possibly a few years so uh it, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Now, um, are all you guys legendary subscribers? Yes. yes. Uh, anybody in your league that are like the free-to-play or the uh, premium we, we guys? Have, we have free-to-play people in the league. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're very casual. I mean, we're a very casual league. And, uh, you know, we joke around a lot. We're pretty raunchy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we... we uh, we'll keep it PG for this. We keep it PG. Yeah, we'll keep it PG here. But we can get pretty, pretty, we, pretty dirty. We can get down and dirty, and uh, and um, you know, but we take anybody in. If if somebody fits in with our uh, comedy, with our group, um, it's not about whether we, you can beat Nexus or you know, or what your CR is, or even if you are full tier five and you're just not the best of players. It's not about that. It's about having fun, it's about fitting in, it's about logging in, lots of times just to talk to people. Oh yeah, yep. I've done, I've sat there for hours running in circles in my lair, mm -hmm. just talking, <laughs> almost every day. Yeah, <laughs> and that's more what it's about uh, for us. We're all legendary here, but we have free-to-play people that just log in just to laugh, and, uh, and it's more about that for us, 
as a as a league than it is about uh, PvP or PVE. It's a social experience that we brought here by even coming here together. That's mm -hmm. that's what was part of it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So Stitch, what do you feel about the changes from the Hall of Power DLC that was announced last year to the fact that we're going to get the League Halls for free? We're going to get the Armories for free. Um, I think it's good. I know I'm not going to be the biggest uh, decorator or anything. <laughs> Migraine can do that, like Scream. Phantom, Scream. They will get him a bunch of hydroponic gardens. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But I think the, the leaderboards... Will be nifty. Yep. We can hopefully make uh, some goofy ones to fit, you know, a Our lot mentality. of yeah. 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 But I think it's I think it's good that everyone will get a league glare. Hell yeah. League hold. <laughs> so are you guys actually recruiting right now on your on your We're league? Always recruiting. Uh, yeah. But again, it's it's one of those things. It's uh, not about the CR. It's not about uh, any of that. It's more about just fitting in. We have a lot of people that will hit us up, and they have a, uh, uh, you know, just this dynamic that they expect us to fit into. The, the mm -hmm. you know, we're this cog in the puzzle, mm -hmm. and, um, and we're not. And I think that people come in. We've had people join our league and say, oh, uh, well, I thought you guys were a strong PvP league. <laughs> and we're like, I don't know why you thought that. <laughs> it's, it's all dick and fart jokes here. I don't know. But... Uh, you know, then we have other people that come in and they're like, I thought you guys were like the ultimate PVE league. And we're like, no, we're not. Um, you know, so uh, it's more about just uh, coming in and fitting in and feeling like you fit in um, and feeling like you're a valued uh, voice than it is about uh, coming in and going, uh, CR 97 tank here for <laughs> Nexus group. We don't give a crap. I mean, we just don't. We... I, I don't care if, if you're CR 1 million. Um, if you're a good person, you fit in, and you have fun, then you'll fit in. You'll get recruited in. You'll, st you'll stick around for a while. And we'll carry your ass through Nexus. And we'll carry your ass through Nexus. <laughs> I'll be contacting you guys when I hit level 30. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you all so much for doing this. It was really awesome to meet, again, new, more DCO players this year, especially from the PS3 side because I'm level 18. I've <laughs> I don't really play that much. I play on the PC. I'm a PC player. Yeah, I love I I love the shirts. Just yeah. is there anything on the back? No, no, no. Uh, we're, we're actually going to be uh, doing some more shirts and some more stuff for uh, members in our league so that they can uh, purchase more items uh, that they they want. We have a a graphic designer that is in our league that does it for a living, and he uh, designs uh, all of our graphics for us, like the rebels. Uh, logo and stuff and like that and, and comic book covers we like to do comic book covers of our uh, different yeah. characters and put those out on the forums um, very nice so we'll, we're going to still do more of that for our league you know league mates and whatnot all right well once again thank you rebels for joining us on this uh i know you guys are going to be for the source cast panel tomorrow right uh, I, I think oh. some of us aren't going to be here tomorrow You're breaking my heart i know we're breaking my heart <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some of us have uh, prior engagements we have to, to go to. I see them over there on the couch. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Work, weddings, things like that. Understandable, understandable. Well, thank you guys so much again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, give it up for the Rebels from the USPS3. Stay tuned for more coverage from SOE Live 2013. That's right, everybody, gang signs. Thank you, gang signs. <laughs>